Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Today we're going to be talking about editing options within Cakewalk by BandLab that are not commonly known. One of the first things I want to talk about is if you have a track, like say for instance this one here that is a stereo track. Maybe I want to make that a mono track. I can go ahead and highlight that track, right click, and convert to mono. Likewise, I can convert a mono track to stereo as well. Another editing option that's not commonly known about is the ability to click and drop to copy and paste things without moving it on the grid. I'll show you what I mean. So if I was to delete this area here, and let's say I wanted to switch these parts, but I was afraid that if I switched them they would get out of time. If you hold the control button and then click, you can actually copy and move this anywhere you'd like. You have to make sure that you hold down the control button though, because otherwise, if you don't, all you're simply doing is moving it. Now, if I wanted to move this up directly from where it is in, in reference to this grid, I could simply hold down the control and the shift button. This will allow me to move it up and down, but will not allow me to move it left and right on the grid. So now I've copied and pasted it in perfect timing with the one below it. Another great editing feature that's found within Cakewalk by BandLab is automatic crossfades. If I was to move this clip onto the clip beside it, it would automatically crossfade. And then once I see these icons, it allows me to set that crossfade to linear, slow curve, or fast curve. I can also adjust the length of the previous clip or adjust the length of the clip behind it. Another great editing feature that's found within Cakewalk by BandLab is the ability to manipulate audio transients. I'll show you what I mean. If I select audio transients from this drop down box, it now gives me the transient markers of each one of these. I can then click on this area here and quantize that to the grid. I can set it to any duration that I want. If I wanted to, I'm going to set it to a 1 16th and watch it as it moves. Now those transients have moved to a 1 16th timing on the grid. From here, I can also extract the groove. What that will allow me to do is to go to another portion of audio By selecting Audio Transients, opening up the dialog box here, I can apply that groove that I just took to this one. This can be useful when you want to fix timing issues between pairs of recordings, say for instance a left guitar and a right guitar that were double tracked. Another great editing feature that's found within Cakewalk by BandLab is the ability to use Melodyne. If I select this area of the vocals and select Create Region Effects, You'll now see a screen pop up that will allow me to manipulate the audio. In this instance, I can take a vocal that might be sharp or flat and get it to sound better. To my ears, this personally sounds a lot better than auto tune. By adjusting the pitch center, I can get it closer to the note that it should have been sang at. By adjusting the pitch drift, I can tame some of the vibrato that's found within vocal performances as well. When I've got it to a point where I like it, I simply click over here, render the region effects, and now it's no longer taking up CPU for that plugin. It's been printed to that track. If at any time I want to go back, I can do that as well with my undo feature. Keep in mind, however, that you only have a certain amount of undo options before it will cease from working. By holding the control button, clicking and dragging this up to the top of the track pane, I now apply the tempo of the stereo overhead to the entire mix. This means that every track within the mix will follow the tempo now of the stereo overheads. And this can be great when you have a guitarist who's playing too fast or too slow, or a bassist who can't keep time. Another useful feature is the snap option for moving things around on a grid. It comes especially useful when you're mixing drums or want to add samples in behind your drums. By selecting this, now my tracks will be snapped to that portion of the grid. 
if I select something a little bit larger, as you can see now, it is snapped to a half a measure. I can also set it to higher, lower, frames, seconds, or even holes. This can be beneficial whenever you're working alongside of loops or anything of that nature. You also have the ability to put it into triplets and dotted notes. When working with automation, you have the ability as well to open up an automation lane. From here you can set automation on several different things by simply clicking this plus button here. From the drop down menu here you can even select what you want to automate. If I wanted to automate the volume on this, I could simply use the draw feature if I would like and draw in my volume curves. Or by using the smart tool, I can just go ahead and place them in there as I'd like. When the smart tool looks like this, it's going to take all of those and move them up within a certain region. When the smart tool looks like this, you'll be adding a node. At any time you can right click on these nodes to reset them back to their original position or to delete them. You can also at any time right click and clear all. Go back to start. By going to review menu over here, you can go to display and you can actually put the vertical grid lines in front of the clips. This can greatly improve your speed when working with loop based audio or drum tracks when you need to see the measure lines in front of the audio clips themselves. These are just a few of the myriad of different things that you can do within Cakewalk by BandLab. This particular DAW has been around for 20 plus years and you can definitely tell that there's been a lot of emphasis placed on making the workflow simple, easy, and efficient. If this has been helpful, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, share it with individuals, and be sure to subscribe. Also, click that bell icon, and every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Have a blessed day.